What are you doing with that picture? Miss Virginia wants it taken up to the study. Why? I couldn't say. Where's Mother? Downtown. She'll be back for lunch. Go. We don't want to get down there after it's all over. Okay, okay. come on. Come on, Lydia. Okay, gang, I guess we can all get in my car. Oh, all right. We can all stay. Oh, yeah, that's all right. Come on, Paul. Yeah, I'll see you later. Paul? Are you deliberately trying to avoid me? Because if you are, I'd just as soon you come right out and say so. No, I'm not, Lydia. I just don't feel like going, that's all. said anything. Isn't what you say, it's your attitude. Why don't you like Brett? I just don't want you to make a mistake, that's all. How much do you know about him? Everything. He's told me all about himself. Paul, why are you so mistrustful? I received one of Dad's letters yesterday. Maybe you'd better read it. so much of crime and wickedness, he was bound to become overcautious. Now I understand why you're so anxious, dear. What is it you want to know? Has Curtis ever been married before? No, he's a bachelor. 
He was going to be married a few years ago, but the girl drowned shortly before the wedding. Brett was terribly broken up about it, of course. She was drowned? It's quite a tragedy. She was so young. Well, Paul, anything else? Where does he get his income? Oh, he owns mines and things. I had Mr. Allen check into all that. You see, I'm not as irresponsible as you think I am. You're not going to marry him for a while yet, are you? I don't know, Paul. I think you should wait. Paul, I don't want to make you unhappy. But that's one thing I must decide for myself. You mean you're going to marry him right away? I may. But you can't. You've got to give me time to... New time? For what? Well, to... To get better acquainted with him. Darling, you'll be going off to school soon. Your life will be occupied with other things for years. Paul, try to understand. Try to be fair. Please. For my sake. All right. That's better. You'll be down for lunch? No, Benjamin's bringing my lunch up here. I'll be down later. Maybe you can play some tennis with Brett. He plays an excellent game. You just give him a chance to be himself. You two would probably be the best of friends in no time. I've got to go now. Don't work too hard, Tom. the boat race. Keen. The blue moon won. You should have come with us, Paul. Lydia's furious. Oh, she'll get over it. I've got too much on my mind. Any lunch left for me, Ben? The, the sandwiches and milk in the breakfast room, Miss Dory. Oh, thanks, Ben. Hello, darling. Hello, Paul. Where have you been hiding? Well, I had some work to do. I hear you're taking law at college. Just the groundwork. My main interest is criminology. Mr. Curtis, do you believe there's such a thing as a perfect crime? It's possible. I've been reading about some perfect crimes in my father's files. He believed there were more undetected criminals at large than have ever been caught. Well, I shouldn't be surprised. The police have their limitation. What a morbid conversation. Fred, it's too bad you've changed. You could have played some more tennis with Paul. I wouldn't have time, darling. I promised to go up to Middleborough and look at some property for a friend of mine. Oh, Brett, why couldn't we drive you up? The ride would do Paul good. Oh, that's a nice of you, Virginia, but uh, it'll take hours to look at tracks, and I'll be talking business. I'll phone you when I get back. I'll walk down to the gate with you. Do, Paul. Goodbye, Brett. See you later, darling. Understand you've traveled a lot. Well, yes, I've always been curious about what was beyond the next horizon. Ever been in Nevada? Yes. Magnificent country it is, too. Makes a man wish he could paint. You'd like it. What's Reno like? Oh, that's indescribable. It's a hodgepodge of wild west and wild east. Cowboys, divorcees, mink and mustangs, dude ranches and the real thing all shuffled together. I'd like to see some of those old ghost towns. In a real silver mine. Well, I have an interest in several mines. Perhaps we'll take a trip someday. Do you know Colorado? Quite well. 
Wayne Field must seem pretty tame after those places. Huh. I've seen pretty much everything worth seeing. I'll be glad to settle down right here. Well, goodbye, Paul. See you tomorrow. I hope we're going to hit it off together. So long. Good afternoon, Professor. Hello, Curtis. Well, how does it go? There's a new development. The boy? Yes, he came home unexpectedly. Hostile? Definitely. <laughs> a neurotic type. Interested in criminology. He asks a lot of questions. Remarkably intelligent for his age. I have the feeling he knows more than he should. Does his attitude affect her? It doesn't yet. But he's a persistent little devil. This morning, he made inquiries about me at the bank. Nothing to worry about there. Everything is in order. This afternoon, he was looking through his father's files. When he came downstairs, he asked me if I believed there was such a thing as a perfect crime. You'll bear watching. Has she accepted you? She hasn't yet, but she will. What's the girl's attitude? Oh, Dorothy. A complete conquest. A little beauty, too. Be careful. I warned you before. That weakness of yours will ruin all our plans. Don't worry. Nothing will ruin our plans. I waited a long time to get back at Cartwright. I'll make them pay for his meddling interference if it's the last thing I do. You'll do as I tell you. Don't forget, I'm in this, too. Perhaps I made a mistake. Perhaps I should have kept you as a patient instead of making you an associate. Don't forget, I'm concerned with the financial outcome in this case, not your personal revenge. You have nothing to complain of. Everything's working out. The boy is the first hitch. He sounds like a subject for mental analysis. He might suggest it to the mother. Sometimes these cases destroy themselves. The important thing is to get the wedding over with as quickly as possible. When you are legally in possession, we can take care of him here. Funny, that thought was in my mind, too. Why wait till I'm in possession? As her husband, you would be in a position to comfort her. As her fiancé, such a tragedy might cause a revulsion against you. That's true. Therefore, you must lose no time. The stakes are high, and there's constant danger if the boy is following the Barrington trail. Barrington is legally dead. <laughs> Fortunately, so is the judge. However, fools and children sometimes stumble upon details which even the most careful strategist has overlooked. I had better meet the lady as soon as possible. Meanwhile, you must impress her with my professional distinction. Understand? Perfectly. Now, be careful. If you can't accomplish this within the week, our relationship shall revert to that of doctor and patient. I'm spending the weekend with them. I'll have her consent before Monday. I give up. Brett, you bewitched the bike. I seem to be lucky in everything but love. You don't really mean that. Virginia, why do you keep putting me off? You promised me you'd give me time to think it over. You know how much I care for you. You've been lonely. Why should we put off the happiness of being together? Where's the one is wonderful! Through a formal wedding, I... No, just a dinner party. 
We'll slip away quietly and I'll send the announcements out later. Good. We'll elope. Elope? <laughs> that sounds so young and reckless. Doesn't seem right with two grown children. Greg, you do like them, don't you? Like them? A handsome, full-grown family on a silver platter? And you? What more could a man ask? Darling, do you realize that you haven't kissed me since we've been engaged? Not much privacy around here, is there? <laughs> well, that's family life. Why don't you come in for a swim? Brad, the water's wonderful. <laughs> How about a swim, Virginia? Ooh. Oh, no, darling, you go. I want to write the dinner invitation. Is there anyone special you'd like to ask? Why, yes, my old friend, Professor Milbank, you know, the psychiatrist. You'll enjoy meeting him. Ooh. Enjoy your swim, darling. I wasn't supposed to tell you this, but... I think it's only fair you should know. Oh, I kind of suspected. I guess they didn't tell me because they know I don't approve. No. I don't either. What? I thought all you girls were goofy about him. No, I was at first, but not anymore. Uh-huh. No, really, Paul, I mean it. Remember the other day by the pool here? Yeah. Well, Brett came for a swim. Once when I dived under, he... I don't know how to tell you this. I, I haven't told anyone. Well, what happened? Well, he... He swam underwater. He got a stranglehold on me and, and started kissing me. I know it doesn't sound like very much, but... It's horrible. I can't describe it. I pulled away. He followed me and and said he hadn't meant any harm and, and asked me if I'd just forget about it and be friends. I felt sort of queer about him ever since. You won't mention this to him, will you? No, and don't you say anything about it. What you've told me adds up with other things. What other things? Oh, I can't tell you now. The trouble is I may be wrong. I haven't any proof, just a hunch. Nobody wants to believe me. I believe you, Paul. Thanks, sugar. Well, there's Dr. Vincent. I've got to talk with him. You better run along with you. Oh, but Paul, I, are you... Well, what I mean to say is, you still like me, don't you? Oh, sure. But everything's on ice for a while. No dates. Yes, all right. Only, don't forget. Okay, funny face. answers to some inquiries he made. After reading them, you'll probably agree it looks like a clean bill of health. Well, that may be so, but Lydia just told me something. Would you mind coming up to my room a minute, Doug? Not at all, Paul. Paul, you must. 
You can't spoil Mother's party. That's right, Paul. Come along. We can talk later. However, I must say that I... I think that we won that rubber. Why? Because... Because Virginia was keeping score. <laughs> Virginia's arithmetic is delightful. She subtracts by counting backwards on her fingers. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. That means ten minus five equals six. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right, isn't it? Of course it's right. <laughs> we, had a, we had a perfect one. Well, tell me about psychiatry, Professor. It must be very interesting. I'd love to be psychoanalyzed sometime. I'd be delighted to do it. Anytime oh, you say. Oh, now, look. I hope you behave so Well, my friend, here's a chance to display your domestic accomplishments. It's <laughs> just what I've been waiting for. It's just what I've been waiting for. Lately. An extremely sensitive boy, madame. I would like to talk to